All right, we will call the uh, Inland Wetlands Agency regular meeting to order. It's seven o'clock on the dot. I'm sitting in for Dave Scott, who is um, in upstate New York. Yay. Uh, so we'll have roll call. Uh, tonight we have Annie, we have Barbara, we have myself, Eunice, we have another Barbara, we have Courtney, and we have Gary. Um, I'm going to appoint Courtney to sit for Dave tonight. Um, and the first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of August 10th, 19, or excuse me, 2022. Oh. Whoa. I move that we accept the minutes as written. Is there a second? I will second that. Seconded by Gary Robbins. No, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can't. Second. Oh, second. There we yeah. go. Boom. Second <laughs> by Courtney. Thank you. Um, all those in favor of uh, passing the minutes of uh, August 10th, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? So moved. We have a new application, Inland Wetlands Agency 22-090 Flanders Road for Flanders development. Um, and I have a little note that Tabitha, this is your application. Yes, it is. And to introduce myself, I am the new Flanders planner, replacing. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I am. I am. Mm. <laughs> um, and it's good to be here. So this application has come in. I sent it out for review. Um, we'll want to schedule a schedule sidewalk. And I'll give you over to to introduce the project. Sure. And we'll talk about it. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> Uh, so, good evening. My name is Greg Fettis with Fettis Engineering, uh, with an office at 70 Essex Street in Mystic, Connecticut, um, representing the uh, applicant, uh, pro the properties under contract. Um, so, you can see there's uh, kind of two areas of wetlands. I think one. It's an overview on where yeah, the is. Oh, yeah. okay. So, uh, Flanders Road, north of 95. Across from an existing that uh, existing industrial uh oh, way down uh or way up. right so it's, way up, 95, yeah. it's across the street from the mystic industrial park um yeah. it is just north of the town landfill so it's past the landfill yes. before the boat yard yes okay yes so there is some you can see i think the property to the south and uh to the west is part of town of Grattan property um right now that we have that overview then i can go about sorry because I yeah so sorry about that That's uh okay. so i hopefully find yep. the property good. okay <laughs> okay <laughs> lost. i'm curious mm -hmm. no we were out there we were at the wrong spot the wrong mm. Sisiski property so gotcha. we're good okay okay so there's uh there's kind of two areas of wetlands um i did highlight the cover sheet uh, in yellow, I kind of drew on the 50 foot, and the orange is the 100 foot. You can see from the from the orange, uh, the entire property is basically within a 100 foot regulated review area. There is a little kind of uh, parallelogram um, located where the building is. Uh, that's also out of the 100 foot regulated review area. Um, the wetland to the north is, um, I guess driven by a culvert that goes under Flanders Road um, into a... You can point to this picture yeah, while you're talking. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, mean, I, 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 know I know Deb said worry about your head, but uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if it's important to us. <laughs> so this is the culvert that crosses the road here. Uh, there's basically a, I would say, an intermittent uh, stream that runs down where it actually enters uh, an actual wetland. Not to say this isn't a wetland, but um, it's really driven by the uh, by the culvert crossing. So we're proposing to pipe that down to the wetland uh, with a plunge pool. Um, without that, it's, it, the property would be extremely challenging to get any kind of uh, development on. Um, we basically, I, the reason we highlighted the yellow uh, 50 foot, because it just, I think it, we, just, we try to stay at 50 foot with everything. Um, 
and did you? Is that uh, pretty, well, with the exceptions, uh, with the exception yeah. of where. So if you if we pipe this and and the intermittent stream goes underground, the the 50 foot would come across here uh, from this wetland. Uh -huh. um, so that was kind of our thought process. You know, we were a bit surprised when we went out to do the wetlands. You know, we obviously we we knew this and that there was going to be wet down here because there were some wetlands on the adjacent property uh, to the north. Uh, so then when we um, got into it and, you know, kind of went through the entire site, uh, we uh, found this other wetland here um, and actually just was kind of thinking <laughs> tonight, just here when I was sitting down, that maybe an interesting uh, thought and we can talk about I don't know we can't talk about this when we're out doing the site walk but it is is somehow to get this water over to here um and then that kind of would disappear that um it, it's just a it's just a thought and I thought I'd throw it out there because I know that we're supposed to think of alternatives on development of the site I mean we did Actually, look at a, a science soil scientist uh David Lord mm -hmm. uh, from soil resource consultants out of Meriden the two gray rectangles are buildings you Those are proposed. Buildings. proposed. Yeah, proposed buildings. And I, I just kind of want to give you an overview on the cover sheet with the highlighted uh, yellow and orange. I can, I don't know how much you want to get into the plan set. I know we're going to do a, a site walk is going to get scheduled. You know, I'd like uh, to. So first of all, mm -hmm. again, so these, that flag is wetland soil. The intermittent water course flag is wetland soil. Yes. Well, it's a, uh, a single flag because it's a uh, kind of a rocky channel channel but it only runs when there's water running through the pipe going under Flanders Road. Again in the state of Connecticut it's based on soil yeah. so I'm sure you're aware you don't yeah. need, need me to tell you that but um okay and what um, the parallelogram that's the hundred foot regulated review line so I don't know if it's easier for me it's the only part here. that's really yeah, nice. actually did that. Is that, oh, yeah, I'm. Well, you'll see my hand. And even push it in yeah, a little bit if you wouldn't oh. mind closer to us. Yeah, just push it in if you can. Yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so this wetland line, so it's 100 foot this way and 100 foot this way and 100 foot this way and 100 foot this way. Um, and then it's 100 foot, uh, these it, intersect here. No no wetland flag within that area is that it there's no wetland outside of the, the wetlands here and here and then the the yeah i'm still having trouble understanding that so these are the well these are the wetlands yeah right. this is the 50 foot buffer yeah and this is the 100 foot buffer got that what yeah. i'm having trouble with is that little that is, that's the 100 foot uh, buffer that's from the this only land that's this well oh okay yeah. It's kind of the only area outside of the regular, except with the exception of this corner. So say uh, there uh, would be some consideration to allow some activity within 50 feet of the wetland. Yeah, we're I mean, still we, we within, tried pretty hard to stay no, no, no. at, at the within, 50 foot. Yeah, well, we're, we didn't, though. You're not, yeah. you, you didn't. Well, so, we pretty much. Hang we, on, could I just finish my yep, question? I'm Thanks. sorry. That's okay. Um, so would you be able to uh, rotate those buildings to be out of that 50 foot? Say we were even, you know, amenable to allowing activity within 50 feet. You, you, you understand what I'm asking? You have space here. You turn that and tilt the other one too. And tilt the other one too. Well, I think the, the if, if if we're not allowed to pipe this down to here, down to the down to a plunge pool that enters the the wetlands down here. And it's going to be challenging to develop the site in that manner. To quote our chair, we haven't allowed piping of a wetland. Uh, most of us have been on this commission at least 30 years, <laughs> uh, and we have not allowed piping in that time. Just of an not extension to say that, of a culvert. That, I'm sorry? I mean, it's a, it's a culvert that's crossing under the road, which it's, is creating. As I, as I, I questioned you, yeah. the, wetlands, it, the wetland soils come up as wetland soils. I will I will yeah. double check on on the terminology for that. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Right, exactly. I mean, there have been there have been occasions where you have allowed um, some piping of an intermittent water course from um, a few. 
but there we are. <laughs> Must have been 30 years ago. Must have been, th no, Deb wasn't, Deb wasn't here 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah. You were? It's just a little bit over 30 years we've been playing this, right? Because Emma's going to be 30. That's yeah, right, you were pregnant. And Deb was pregnant at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And we can I have uh, one question. That is that area all going to be paved all around the building there, where uh, that's shown, you know, within sort of looks like a curve or something. Um, yeah. So I don't understand your question, Courtney. Is, is it all going to be paved? Is it all going to be paved? Yeah, between the yeah, building parking. and the yellow line. Well, that's a great question. So can it you is. speak to that? Well, let me just see. Yeah. The, oh. Might be clear on one of these sheets. Uh, I'll just stick with this one. You shouldn't so, need that many places to park if it's just storage inside. Well, the regulations require, a, I'll get to the parking yeah. issue, but there's, uh, so there's outside storage also. So uh, you enter off of Flanders, a two-way entrance, and then there's circulation around uh, the building that connects into this side and around basically across the frontage. So yes, all of this area is paved. Um, Got it. There is a- Thanks for that there question, Courtney. Uh, yeah. um, really obviously missed that. This is a storage, a storage area, multiple storage like areas. A, yeah, like an industrial, like a, similar to what's across the street. But there was something about cars or big trucks or something in the, was in what I, I read. said construction equipment. The, yeah, there'll be construction equipment in the application. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so just the contractors, potentially a contractor's uh, building. So where he'll have uh, storage in the smaller building uh, that's unheated, um, and then in the larger building he'll have uh, inside storage, an office, um, so where he can keep his equipment as well as have his office space. Do they work on equipment in there? Uh, they'll work on equipment inside the building. Uh, no work outside the building. Well, so you were suggesting you cannot rotate these buildings? Well, I just don't know if it's going to help. Uh, well, that's because, yeah, because Courtney's question, of course, definitely like that's all paved. So it's a moot point to rotate the buildings. And the whole thing is paved. paved anyway. I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't uh, yeah. see yeah. that. Yeah. So there's a, there's a, there's a retaining wall that starts kind of on this corner and comes around and ties into the building here. So everything is, uh, there's a there's a definite, very definitive line at that 50 foot line. And again, if we don't, if we can't pipe this, we'll probably walk away, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, mm -hmm. because there's just, there's not enough uh, developable area um, obviously, I got to talk to my client, but that's a big mm -hmm. issue. Piping that makes kind of the site work. Um, we would, you know, and, and again, it's a extension of a culvert, uh, and I'll get those particulars regarding the soils in there. Um, Maybe have so the soil just come yeah, to the next meeting. It meeting. also feels like a, a large development for that piece with so much wetlands. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I and mean, we're, when you consider the parking, the hardscape being yeah. along with the building. We did uh, kind of stay away from this whole side of the wetlands um, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this area pretty well. Um, that, again, the extension of the culvert is a big part of this project without that. Uh, and so, you know, we'll get we'll get together with the soil scientists, get it into the report specifics about that. Um, but right, we do. Sure. We did submit drainage calculations. We are zero, um, you know, zero increase in in, in all the storms, two to a hundred, uh, zero volume increase. And I can go through that. All of that is on the upper within the within the walled in area. So uh, there's uh, hydrodynamic separators. Um, there's two of them at least, um, if not three, I'll have to double check that, but which are all on the plan. Um, so everything's treated, groundwater, or not groundwater, roof water is infiltrated into the ground prior to, to exiting. Um, Did anybody so, witness the water on Tuesday morning going out of every culvert straight up for at least a foot and a half? Before it went up and, I mean, that's how much rain came down, up and out of the culvert. Where was that? Everywhere, everywhere. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, okay, right, so um, let's um, go Sorry, um, <laughs> just ahead. wondering the, the use of the building. Um, you said it may be a contractor's. Well, it's, it's one of the permitted uses in this type of building, um, oh. which is a contractor's building. Uh, so it could be anything, it could be a landscaper, it could be a painter, it could be, you know, um, that is going to be divided into, let me just flip to another sheet here. So it's just the survey, existing conditions. Um, I'm happy to stay on any sheet you want. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of a preliminary. Uh, so this is the site plan. It is a IM zone. It's what industrial manufacturer makes use. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a, an allowed use in the zone. Um, and again, so you can see it's a little more defined here. The wall, you can see it a little bit better. Um, See. And what's the drop up on the back side of the wall? It varies. I think it's around four. I'm going to flip to the grading plan, so I don't want to misquote it. Um, yeah, so you can see the it's kind of extensive underground uh, infiltration, uh, the piping from the existing catch basin uh, down. Um, it is the center's a uh, hydrodynamic separator located here and then there's one on the other side uh, prior to running through here so everything's treated that hits the pavement um, there's no direct discharge into the ground um, without being treated so any stormwater from the parking lot gets treated prior uh, prior to entering the ground and most of what's going into the ground is is roof water from the two uh, two buildings um so let me see here uh, yeah it's five or six feet along here uh like six five feet in the back it's like four to six feet um for the most part not a very tall wall but it makes the it makes the uh property usable and it defines a, a definitive 50 foot buffer to the wetlands with the exception again of the over the extension. You have a detail about the wall that you can show? Uh, yeah, I think we do. Uh, erosion sediment control. So there's state hay bales, sulfents with hay bales, basically all the way around the site. Um, and there's a level spreader plunge pool uh, where all the water is going to dump in. That's obviously on the, the lower side of the wall. The roof dumps into that too? Uh, the roofs all get piped directly into the underground infiltration. So they hit that first before they, um, in order to slow the water. Slow the water and the asphalt as well? Uh, the asphalt goes in there, but it gets treated prior to in a hydrodynamic separator for the most part. There's a little bit over on this side that enters, uh, uh, it all uh, is graded away from you know towards the road it goes through a filter strip here grass filter strip before it enters an infiltration trench goes into a catch base and then actually it does get treated i'm looking at the wrong plan but it does get treated quickly yes can you run your finger or make a orange line or yeah i will definitely color on one up for next meeting so it's easier to see but this is, is the this wall. 50 here no but i want to see 50. Uh, we're looking at the wrong plan for that. Let me, let me just. But I kind of need this to. Mm -hmm. What's that? I want to well, know. It's not it's here. Here. It's on here. So the 50 is here. Get that one. I'm looking for the other one. Okay, so then this 50 is, yeah, so it kind of is right under the. So there's a fair bit of activity within the 50 foot buffer, would you say? Uh, just. Just the outlet, which um, of the of the piped extension, um, I wouldn't say a fair amount. I would say as minimal as possible. Looks like there's some. It looks like there's some. Uh, the fifty is maybe. right on the corner. Um, like I said, it'd be great to have that mm -hmm. line marked up. To be able to okay. really know. I mean, it shows on the back to the cover sheet. You can see pretty much everything. 
just much clearer, but I can definitely, and then when we bring back, uh, after the site walk, when we bring back plans, I'll have some nice colored up ones that That's kind great. of are. Anybody else want to look at anything else before we go out there? We're going to look at the wall. Maybe. Oh, the wall. That's right. Thanks. So this is the retaining wall here. Is um, it that Versa lock stuff or what's the? This one we showed a. Um, you'd show when it's just a kind of a generic one. It's a reinforced concrete, which limits the thickness of it. Um, if we do the Versa lock, which is like a, like a you know, I'm going to say mafia block because that's not politically correct anymore, but <laughs> um, they manu manufactured concrete block walls are kind of the rage and much more affordable. Um, so they have, uh, they're, they're three feet wide. Uh, so if the contractor developer wanted to use those, we'd have to cut back the pavement a little bit in order to not push it further towards the wetlands. So we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I think that was seven. These are just some of the details on the silt sack. Oh, yeah, so maybe when that you come back, so just to sort of uh, more detail about options if okay if you were to be able to build a wall, just different yeah. options, okay. three feet, not three feet. Yeah. And where will you stand when you build this? Which side of the wall? Well, you would build it from the high side. Um, so the excavator would dig, uh, standing on the high side, would dig down to the base of the wall and then grade it and set that first block and then uh, clean up that edge uh, and then, you know, work its way, work their way up all from the high side. So there wouldn't be equipment with the exception of the drainage that. Uh, with the exception of the drainage that comes through on this side here. And even as, if, as you, so you look at this carefully. Yep. So, you know, if we were to allow work, you know, there would be no work within the 50. So this would, you know, that would be where the uh, hay bale and the, mm -hmm. what's that other black thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Silt fence. Silt fence, thanks. Uh, so, okay, we'll take uh, I think we obviously need to walk we'll take us. A look at, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's it's, and, uh, um, it's one you want to walk. And, and then I think we can also get a sense of how much more detail we need from you. Okay. Any? The soil report, obviously. So a report. So yeah, 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 for sure. And Barbara, anything? All right. When do you guys wanna go? After school. I know. Yeah. She got you after school. <laughs> so our, our next meeting is uh, twenty seven. Um, Tabitha is away. Twenty one through something. So we do it after that. So then we're wait for the next meeting. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna like a minute to move away. We haven't had staff review yet. So, yeah, yeah. So we can wait till after the next meeting. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Whatever works for your schedule. It's just Tabitha should probably be there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm all over that. Um, I mean, I could do it at the very beginning. Yes. Or we could do it after. After the 28th sounds good to me. Either way for me. What's your time schedule? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean for construction. Oh, next year. For, you know, we know we got a, a site that's not straightforward. So we're here to work with the town and the commissions, not only wetlands, but planning and zoning to get something that's a fair compromise, a reasonable development. We're not in a rush. I wouldn't put that upon you on this project. Yeah. <laughs> to run, I wouldn't put that upon you on this project to run through. There's no, you know, we waited this long to get before you. So we're talking about like three thirty or 
Yeah, so yeah, 29th. What time can you get? What time can you really start? Is three thirty? So the, is everybody cool with the 29th? That's but Thursday. They're not cool with the What day would you do, like? I can only do Mondays, Wednesdays, Monday, Wednesday. I, I work in the afternoon, so I'm Tuesdays and Thursdays. Let's go to the next week. How does anybody like Monday the third in the afternoon? That's all right. Three thirty. Yes. Monday the third at three thirty. Linda, can you hear me? So you'll send out notices. <laughs> we rely yeah. on our, our best. I'm on it. Thank you. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Um, okay, at three thirty. All right. We'll see you then. Great, and I will try to have the uh, soil scientist there for that also. That'd be, that'd be cool. And the report before that. Well, the reports and stuff we can't really look at. Uh, not the site walk. Not the site walk. But you can send this to the staff before please. that, you guys oh, yeah. can yeah, that's get true. it. Did you say all that you wanted to present on this? We didn't yeah, we scare got plenty you of time. off. No? <laughs> I scared them off. <laughs> no, we, um, okay. you know, we're, we understand the commission's position on, you know, setbacks and, you know, try to limit what you're doing. Yeah. As close as, you know, 50 to 75 feet. And we're, you know, we're trying to balance that with this site. And I think, you know, one of the keys is the extension of that uh, um, culvert. Which is a very important part of the development. Without it, uh, yeah. it'd be extremely. It's common. hard to pave on a stream. Yeah. All right. We'll see you on the third of October at three thirty. Zero Flanders Road. Right. We'll send them out. Mm. Yeah. I think as long as we see your car, we'll know where to go. That's true. Yeah. Go to the transfer station and take the next. Yeah, route. you can pull up on the side of the road, so it's. No yeah. curving, it's easy to pull up on the grass. Good, awesome. You guys get in there? Get back in the walk a little bit. Okay. Not too thick. Mm -mm, not at all. No, not at all. Is it uneven terrain or is it it's slightly? Uh, is this a boots and, and uh, what long pants? Thing? I would, yeah. yeah. I would. Okay. Although very limited dryers, which was sort of nice. Oh, Fairly yeah. clear understory. Nice. Um, yeah, but yeah, so pretty tall. Um, <laughs> And then the intermittent water course certainly has some boulders. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, no new applications. Awesome. No pending applications. Awesome. Any old business that anybody has? Thank you. Any new business that anyone has? Uh, Wife Street was flooded yesterday. Yeah, the, the, the world was flooded. In Mystic. Really? Yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't get to the dock. It was all water. In front of the senior center, because I was trying to know. I must have been a foot and a half. Hand, hand oh, to God. I mean, really? People were driving through with those little cars. Yeah. Oh, and it was coming in. But, and I'm thinking, wait, why are you driving through that? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. What are you thinking? Anyway, it's it a street. Came down so quickly. <laughs> that's the thing. It was just insane. Um, I just had one quick question, Deb. I called you a while ago about the trees on uh, Route One corner, Route One and Fishtown Road. Yeah, they are. are. Is that is that was that done by the state? Do you know? No, I don't think so. I think it was the property owner. I mean, certainly not in the wetland. It's no, adjacent to no. it. But you know how that goes. Those you know, then they put the trees yeah, and the you know, yeah. and just you know, yeah. just. Have them take them to the land at all if they could. Um, all right. Anybody else? No. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second by Courtney. <laughs> all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? So moved. Yes. Aye.